guys, I don't know what I'm doing. It's an eight hour drive down to San Diego. We are leaving out of nowhere. I was supposed to be dropping in the rear subframe into the E91 M3, but then you guys know I'm looking out for parts for the E91 M3 build and I wanted to make it the absolute best build. And uh, my boy Armand found this beautiful donor car. Um, when I mean donor car, I mean, we're gonna save this car, but we're also gonna be modifying your E91 with this car. It's basically a donor car, but also a flip. So it's one of those unique things and that's the reason why I'm driving eight hours. I'm hoping that this guy is a good person and he's not gonna sell beneath me um, because if I drive eight hours and he sold the car, that's gonna suck. But anyways, we are making a trip down right now and uh, basically we're picking up another M3, but this one is the most desirable spec. Just don't put it out there. Like honestly, such a clean spec and that's why I'm rebuilding it. But the parts on it, 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 it that car doesn't need it. Our E91 M3 does. And I'll show you guys exactly what I mean once we get there. So with the power of editing, you guys are about to see this car hopefully in, in about, you know, in, in about a few minutes for me, uh, eight hour drive. But I, I wish I was you guys in this situation because I wish you guys were driving and then I can see what's going on in three minutes. But I'm bringing it to you guys so if you guys can give me a favor and smash that like button that would mean the world all right guys so we just did our first stop right over here about two hours in into an eight hour drive and we're about to get some gas gas prices are absolutely crazy right now gas prices right now are seven dollars in this area a gallon for regular thankfully this truck takes regular but that is insane anyways we're about to get some gas and then we're actually gonna get some food probably at taco bell and then we're gonna continue our journey All right, guys, so we just got our XX Large Extra Mile drinks. We're heading right now to Taco Bell uh, just to get ourselves, you know, a breakfast slash lunch. Alright guys, so we finally made it down here to San Diego. It was honestly a long drive, about eight hours, uh, nothing too crazy. I mean, I have a little bit of brain damage, but other than that, everything is gravy in the Navy. I'm actually here with my boy Raheem over here. Uh, I appreciate you for holding this car for me. <laughs> so I told him, I told him, I was like, bro, I'm gonna be coming down. Can you please hold the car for me? He's like, I got a few buyers. I'm like, please? And he's like, yes, of course I got you. I was like, all right, man, thank the Lord. Um, we ended up picking up this E90 M3. This one's actually not a normal one. This one actually has a supercharger on it um, that I was very shocked to see. That is the main reason we're honestly getting this car. We're gonna be using it towards the E91 M3 project. And then possibly, um, because I know you wanna see it possibly come back to life, uh, we'll possibly, we'll try to save it. Um, the damage to the block was a lot worse than I thought. I thought it was something <laughs> minor. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But um, as you guys can see as well, this car is wrapped. Um, I actually uh, did a little bit of wrapping myself, but uh, he does wrapping for a full-time job, full-time career here at San Diego. It came from Hawaii, right? Yeah. So it's kind of cool. Um, this, this car is actually from Hawaii as well. Yeah, it is. And you brought it all the way here. Yeah, it was my baby. Um, project car, you know, I did what I could on it, held on to it for as long as I can, but. Practice the skills on here. Yeah. But now you do one of my first wraps. Actually. First wraps. Um, How long ago was this? By, it was about a year, year and a half ago. Um, it was by uh, Tiny Bot. Tiny Bot. Um, That's the brand Shadow, Shadow Black Camo. I do a uh, wrapping here in the San Diego. LA area, sometimes I do mobile wraps, like I'll come to your house, I could do a hood or something small like that. Um, I also do full wraps um, back at my house and stuff like that. I do detailing, so we could do paint correction. I do auto body work, I'm platinum certified in iCar. So yeah, I also wrap motorcycles too. So for you guys who want your bikes wrapped or your helmets wrapped, I do helmets. I mean, you can wrap anything, wrap computer desks, <laughs> anything, just let me know, you know, <laughs> you can wrap so it. So his Instagram is gonna be linked down below. It's actually how I found him in this car, basically. I hit him up through his Instagram. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, if you guys want to contact him in any way, uh, honestly, Instagram is probably the best method, right? Yeah. And my Instagram is RJ Custom Wraps. I'll have it linked down yeah. below, so it's easier for you guys. But uh, yeah, bro, I mean, I appreciate it. It is late at night, bro. I'm sorry for bringing you out here. <laughs> no, man, I'm just happy that's going to 
a good home, so. I mean, you're gonna see yeah. lots of videos on it, so I'm excited about it. And yeah. uh, again, bro, I appreciate you. Of course, man. All right, bro, take it easy. All right, man. Guys, we just made it to our first hotel stop. It has been a long night. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even function. It's been a long drive, a long night. Um, officially, uh, probably about nine and a half hours of driving. We finally have the car right here. Uh, we are at Hyatt Hotel, and I'm just gonna hope to God they have a room available because I'm really trying to spend the night before we actually have to head back. I was gonna try to make it back today, uh, but honestly, I don't think that's possible. So let's see if they got a room for us. We could go ahead and sleep and then head back tomorrow. And again, I can show you guys uh, the new beast to the collection. Guys, just got inside the elevator. I tried booking a room, and since we booked and after 12 we weren't able to book it for the night long story short had to call them i almost had to sleep in the car tonight thank the lord you can actually get this stuff sorted over the phone so that worked out let's go ahead and get into our room i'll probably just see you guys tomorrow morning i am so exhausted <laughs> All right, guys, we got the car chilling. Let's go ahead and head home, and I can show you guys why I ended up picking up this beast all the way here in San Diego and why I couldn't pass up on it. Guys, we're just trying to make it home. We're finally here at a Costco gas station, trying to hit at least one Costco gas station before we get home. We're spending probably like five to $600 in gas on top of the, getting this car. Um, so hopefully, hopefully, we can get some fuel. No issues. The stressful thing is with a trailer, trying to get gas at Costco. I always feel bad. Um, so we got to figure out the best way to do it, where it's efficient and it's not bothering other people. Well, that's just the best way to do it and then get some gas and head on our journey because I want to show you guys the reason why we got this car uh, I just want to show you guys when we get home And guys, we officially made it home with the E90 M3. So there's a multiple reasons to why I actually picked up another E90 M3. You guys know that we're working on an E91 M3 build in the back and I have an E90 M3 donor car back there. But this is also titled another M3 donor car uh, for this one exact reason. This bad boy is supercharged. So yes guys, I've always wanted a supercharger. This is an ESS tuning supercharger for an E90 X M3. These bad boys go for some crazy money and produce some crazy power numbers that will absolutely look, honestly, first thing, amazing in the E91 M3 build. And at the same time, it's gonna it's gonna add a lot of power. It's gonna really make and wake up the beast. And I'm super excited for that. So honestly, the primary reason I picked up this car, like the entire car, is for this supercharger. Actually, the rest of the stuff that actually goes towards the supercharger is in the trunk. They had to take it apart. Reason being, this motor might be gone. Basically, the car got worked out at a shop that wasn't really familiar with performance parts they removed the stuff and they put everything back together they actually drilled a screw through the block and basically now the block is slightly cracked and uh, literally fluids are just draining straight out of it so um yeah that is super unfortunate i don't know if this is repairable if this is replaceable um i'm gonna actually go ahead and see down the road if this thing even turns over my primary goal honestly right now is putting this thing back to stock because honestly i want this stuff onto my e91 so we're gonna take off all the supercharger stuff put it off to the side so when the e91 m3 build is ready uh we will have a supercharger for it and this car if we can put it all back to stock, diagnose the damage, and possibly repair this motor, that would be pretty awesome. So yeah, this car serves two missions. First off, a restoration build. We're gonna try to restore this thing back to factory, mainly because this bad boy is a clean title. It has the Alpino white paint, which I absolutely love, and this bad boy has the single hump manual transmission. <laughs> yes, guys. Yes, this is definitely a car I definitely wanna restore. I am super excited about. This car is gonna be worked onto the side. Um, there's a lot of little imperfection things. Like right now, I'm just noticing, honestly, from this angle, that 
but the headliner is sagging. Thankfully, we do have an extra headliner from our other E90 M3. Um, that steering wheel doesn't even look like a factory M M like M3 steering wheel. That shift knob is not a factory M3 shift knob, and that shift boot is not a factory M3 shift boot. So I'm gonna put everything back to stock. Even this radio and the climate control stuff, we're gonna put that all back to stock as well. And everything that's aftermarket, I'm gonna be selling on my Natty Performance Instagram. The link's gonna be down below if you guys are interested in anything like the double dent, anything like that. This, this steering wheel right over here. I'm actually gonna take off that uh, steering wheel cover real quick. I'm very curious. It looks like a non-M steering wheel, but we could get lucky and underneath this, is an M3 steering wheel, which would be pretty awesome. Okay, so uh, <laughs> that is the reason this thing had a steering wheel cover. I have never seen a steering wheel in such bad shape. Wow, that is terrible. The good news is it is an M3 steering wheel. As you guys can see by the stitching over here, the leather, it looks like they just kind of put like a steering wheel trim piece on here or something i don't know exactly what's up with the steering wheel but we're gonna have to remove it we're gonna have to replace it again with the shift knob shifter um right over here as well there is some p3 gauges uh, i do think this is also painted i'm gonna go ahead and repaint these black but we have some p3 gauges we're gonna be moving on to our e91 m3 build so yeah a lot of cool little modifications on this car and we're gonna be putting this thing back to stock we're gonna be unwrapping the car it has some apex arc 8 18 inch wrapped in some michelin tires brand new tires in the rear brand new wheels in the rear so it's very 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 exciting stuff over here long long story short guys i drove eight hours on literally like like literally out of nowhere i just woke up my boy alon sent me the link to this car i hit up the owner the owner was super cool super nice basically told me that um yeah he has a supercharger in this car um and unfortunately uh the car ended up not being drivable because there's like a hole through the block or something or the block is cracked and i had to get this thing towed all the way over here uh, but end of the day for the price we got it for we got a supercharger we got some apex wheels we got some p3 gauges and some other little cool modifications we'll be transferring over to our e91 m3 build because we're gonna make the best build possible out of that e91 m3 and this bad boy and this bad boy we're gonna go ahead and rebuild it and use this money towards our r rate build hopefully by the end of this year you guys know i'm on a mission and not only building a beautiful e91 m3 by the end of this year but also the goal by the end of this year is to get an audi r rate so this bad boy is going to be serving two purposes and i'm very 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 excited to show you guys the journey on restoring this e90 m3 also those tail lights i'm probably gonna go back to factory tail lights again everything on this car guys i want to put back to absolute factory factory wheels we're going to take those wheels we're going to put it on my car it has kws so we're actually going to take the kws put it on the e91 and put this back to stock suspension this thing is going to be a hundred percent stock by the time we're done with it hopefully the paint underneath this wrap is in good shape as well because i want to unpeel it i absolutely love white factory bmw paint so i'm hoping it's in good shape little things like this the carbon fiber mirror cap are honestly probably going to leave it on the car because they don't honestly look that bad um this is a carbon fiber or spoiler it has some decals on i'll probably take off the decals but i probably keep the spoiler on the car because it actually doesn't look that bad i kind of like it you guys can let me know down below but we are going to be removing it just for the sake of removing all the wrap and as you guys can see over here we have the turbo for the supercharger it looks so 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 good we have all the other mounts and things like that honestly i wish a supercharger was fully put together because i don't really know how to assemble it thus basically leaving us with a bunch of parts that we don't really know where it belongs honestly we'll figure out all that stuff down the road as for now i know i do know that we have the valve cover right over here i'm going to go and slap on the valve cover just so nothing actually gets inside the engine because if it is rebuildable we do want to go ahead and rebuild that engine so yeah let me just go ahead and slap this on and i'll get back to y'all in a minute and just like that guys the valve cover is just chilling right now so yeah guys i'm not gonna lie this is kind of confusing we do have so much m3 e chassis stuff going on on this channel but if you guys are you know honestly love the e90x platform and you guys love seeing e90x m3 builds flips restorations um custom builds then make sure to smash that like button because that's what's going to be going on till the end of this year and hopefully Hopefully you're gonna be getting ourselves an Audi R8 sitting in this garage. That is the absolute goal. Is that gonna happen? Honestly, it's only if you guys could show some love on this video and it'd be greatly appreciated. I'm a man chasing this dream since 2014, getting an Audi R8 and this year we're getting so, so, so close to it. And uh, it'll just mean the world guys, if you guys could just smash that like button and support this channel. So yeah, after further looking into the damage on the block, honestly, I'm looking at it and the screw kind of went straight through. Like imagine a hole on the other side and the screw kind of just went right through that hole to basically now, um, even if you put a screw in, oil is going to be able to come through that screw hole. Now that might be able to get welded or we might have to replace that cylinder, um, the pretty much that cylinder head on the driver's side. Um, either or, I don't think it's the end of the world. Our goal is, is probably going to try to get that engine to turn over with stock parts. And if we can get that bad boy to turn over with stock parts and it sounds healthy, I definitely think we're going to try to fix this motor, save this motor, and again, save
save this car. I'm just super happy with this purchase because honestly, the main reason I went down there to get this car is for the supercharger. And uh, you guys know, I, I, I'm trying to build the best E91 M3 on the internet. I'm trying to build the best E91 M3 on YouTube. And I'm just trying to build the best car for myself to enjoy after all my experience of working on BMWs. I wanna build something I'm very proud of. And honestly, like the, the, the best package you guys could possibly imagine. And that's what we're gonna be doing on the E91 M3. And I'm just so happy to say we have an ESS supercharger. That bad boy is like seven to eight thousand dollars, and we got that bad boy. That definitely means we need to do our rod bearings and throttle actuators, and make sure we service our engine a hundred percent before throwing that supercharger. Because I do not want to throw a rod. <laughs> But anywho, guys, that is gonna have to conclude this video. If you guys are excited to see the restoration episodes on that E90X M3, make sure to smash the like button because I'm gonna be working in the back scenes on the E91 M3. Um, not in the back scenes, I'm gonna be filming that. There's gonna be some episodes on that, but a little bit of change. There's gonna be some restoration on that. This is gonna be a lot more fast paced. I'm gonna try to actually unwrap that car, put back stock wheels, put back stock suspension as soon as possible, and just get this thing off the trailer on the ground. And while we're taking things off, like I'm saying, we're gonna be modifying and upgrading and building our E91 M3 in the backyard. So yeah, if you guys are excited to see a brand new series on this channel of restoring a BMW back to factory OEM spec, make sure to smash like button because I know I'm super excited. So without further ado guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace out.